Okay, this is a nice example of a student um, answering the guiding question, which was, how do we know when evidence in a text is reliable? I was thinking about this because the day before we had done a Bigfoot article and the kids found lots of evidence um, and, you know, they, they presented the claim that Bigfoot was in fact real because they had evidence to support it. Even the ones who didn't believe in Bigfoot were kind of having to support that evidence or support that claim with evidence. So um, it got me thinking about this and that's why I gave them this guiding question. But um, I like that she said, uh, if you kind of skim through, it's talking about multiple quotes from someone who knows what they're trying to prove, like a scientist or a professor. And she's definitely on the right track because I think that, you know, expert opinion is really important. And when we write something and we're supporting with evidence, we need to be thinking about, you know, who's most trustworthy, a common citizen or a expert. Um, and this is a perfect example of, you know, she's already thinking that way. She's just not calling it what it is. So don't have much work to do with this child when we get to that um, research unit.